Samantha, we have a question here from Mustafa who is looking for an example of a function that is integrable on A to B and um, is, but is not differentiable and it's continuous as well, as it says there. Um, okay, so basically the simplest function that comes to mind is the absolute value function, which looks like that. Um, and uh, you can't actually really write out an explicit um, antiderivative. It's going to look something like, uh, so if we had, let's, let's just say, for example, that a is negative 1, um, then f of t is going to be kind of a piecewise function. So it's just going to be the integral, the of negative x dx oops, from negative 1 to t. And that's if uh, t is less than 0. Otherwise, it is going to be the integral from negative 1 to uh, 0 of negative x dx plus the integral from 0 to t of x dx. And that's if t is greater than or equal to 0. And um, so that's that's the antiderivative. Um, now, I just want to point out, it is continuous, right? Because it's it's a linear function on the left half and a linear function on the right half. Um, oh, and this is for f of x equals equals uh, the absolute value of x. It's linear on the left half and linear on the right half. So the only question is whether or not it's uh, continuous at 0, basically. And of course, as uh, the limit as x goes to 0 of the absolute value of x is equal to 0. So it is, in fact, and it's equal to, um, and the absolute value of 0 is 0. So it's continuous at 0 as well, because the limit is 0 and the value of the function itself is 0. So it's definitely continuous. However, it's not differentiable because um, if you were to take the derivative, um, on the left half, the derivative is negative 1, and on the right half, the derivative is 1. So your, here, let me uh, make some space here. So I'm just going to get rid of all of that. There we go. OK. That doesn't want to go away. All right, so the derivative is going to look like this. And um, we'll call that f prime of x. And as you can see, uh, from the left, it's negative 1. And from the right, it's 1. And so that means that um, you know, as, as you get towards the, so the limit as x goes to 0, we'll say from the right of f of x, f, sorry, f prime of x, that's 1. And similarly for um, b here, I'm going to make some more space. The limit as x goes to 0 from the left, that's what the minus means of f prime of x. This is equal to negative 1. And since these two are not equal, it cannot be continuous. Um, and that's what it means for it to not be differentiable, is if the derivative is not continuous. So there you go. There's your example, and that's why, it's, uh, why it works. All right, good luck. Mm -hmm.